Welcome back guys, I'm sitting in the car and I've got my Quan Sheng radio here tuned to a microwave frequency. Check this out. Now, this is quite a weak signal, but bear with me. You should hear something in a minute. You can hear that tone just in the background. There we go. So what's that then? I'll tell you what that is. Can you see that right over there in the distance? The signal sort of peaks towards that direction. And it's sort of fading out there and then fading out there. So let's go and take a closer look. We're getting closer. So this guys is GB3PS, 23 SEMS repeater, and it's located at the former RAF Barkway site. strange about this is this Quan Sheng's not picking up the uh, the repeater um, at all and I'm right on top of it so it doesn't seem to be that sensitive at around 1.3 gigahertz so it appears that this little radio isn't particularly great at receiving signals up around 1.3 gigahertz in fact that is probably the maximum design limit of the chip anyway and i think it could do with a little bit of extra amplification um you know like an lna or something like that to kind of boost the signals in that range if you wanted to use it it would probably work actually um but it's nowhere near something like this like my little kenwood um thf7 i always forget the number of it but yeah the thf7 yeah this little kenwood really surprised me today i actually had it on the frequency of this repeater as i was heading towards the tower and on the dual carriageway it was breaking through on the squelch just with the radio just laying down on the passenger seat of the car so that's really impressive but not as impressive as what I'm about to show you now so this is my Icom 9700 so this is a 2 meter 70 cents and 23 cents transceiver so it's a proper 23 cents radio now this is pretty mind-blowing look what I'm using I'm using the antenna that I was using earlier in the window and there is the signal. Okay, it's incredibly weak. I've had to put it on CW, so the filter width is really, really narrow. Um, but look, you can actually see the signal's totally visible. It just shows you how sensitive this 9700 is. And as the crow flies, that's about 15 miles from that repeater site to here. Crazy. So even though we know this little Quan Sheng's not that great for listening up at sort of 1200 megahertz, we can do a test with the Tiny SA Ultra because it's got a built-in spectrum analyzer. So I've got a dummy load here, again, same setup as the last video, and then we're feeding basically like a tone into this radio here. So if you give this little radio some volume, you can hear the tone in the noise there, but it is there. And if you kind of increase the power level, you can see that the signal level is kind of going up the tone comes on when you release the um release the, the power level setting so we can already see it does need quite a significant amount of level even though we are going through the attenuator to actually get a signal so let's find the point where it's just about audible i mean i'd say there i can hear that i mean you wouldn't be able to make out voice at that level but you can definitely hear the tone now let's swap over to the little kenwood Right, there we go. So we can already see that this Kenwood at the same signal level is getting pretty much full scale signal and it sounds fully quieting as well. Now we can go down from there to the point where it's virtually not even breaking the squelch. I mean, we're slightly off frequency as well because this won't actually go up to 7.5. But yeah, you can see we're drastically different now. 
So you can see the sensitivity of this is way better than this Quan Sheng. And if you wanted to, you could work out an actual figure of you know what the sensitivity is by using that minus 70 dBm calculating that 40 dB on the attenuator and everything else. But for this sort of test, it just shows you the difference in sensitivity of the receivers. Now I've got the Quan Sheng back on and I've actually lowered the frequency now. So we're on 900 megahertz. So same signal level, minus 39.1 dBm going through the attenuator still. And you can already see on here, the sensitivity is way better at 900 megahertz. And going by the other testing that I've done off camera, this basically just gets more sensitive as you sort of head towards the designed frequencies, like the 70 SEMS band and the two meter band. So if you wanted to use this thing to listen to some very naughty 934 megahertz CB, it'd probably work. Ultimately though, I think this thing is just a well-designed preamp away from actually being pretty useful on the higher frequencies. And as I said in the last video, it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens when the hardware guys get going on this. I've already been contacted by a couple saying, oh, we're working on different things. So in particular, like filters, preamps, and also amplifiers for the power output on this. So yeah, it's really interesting stuff. The firmware is moving forward as well. I think I saw SSB transmit. I don't know if this is even possible. I thought you'd need some extra hardware on here, but I believe I saw a video um, of SSB transmitting. That's another thing about this radio. The firmware on this does sideband, so it will do upper sideband at the moment, the one that I've got on here. And the Kenwood doesn't do that. So whilst the Kenwood is obviously, you know, a much better radio, and obviously my icon picks up, you know, signals that this couldn't dream of receiving, um, it's interesting that we've got that capability. So if you want to let me know about any developments you've heard about, or maybe you're a developer working on this stuff, hardware, software, if you want to let me know, drop me a comment. In the meantime, guys, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time.